today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite treats. It's a raspberry cream filled cake made by Mrs. Freshly's. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to compare it to a similar one I just found in the grocery store. Uh, the, Mrs. Freshly's was in my break room vending machine and they stopped carrying it. So I was on the search for that snack cake out there in the world and I couldn't find it. So we're going to try both of these snack cakes and see which one is better. I think I know which one and why. Plus, there may be a mystery cake involved in this too. So, follow me. Let's go upstairs and try them. There are three contenders in this contest. The first, and in my opinion the best, is Mrs. Freshly's Dreamies Creme Filled Cakes. And it's designated raspberry because there are others that are just white cake with creme filling. The next is Hostess Zingers, also designated raspberry. Uh, and this one it has a little more information. It's called Raspberry Iced Cake with Creamy Filling. And we'll understand exactly why they call it Raspberry Iced Cake. So let's just start with number two. Oh, and there's a, there's a mystery cake over there that I will reveal later. Don't skip ahead. This is important. So, individually wrapped. Now, the reason these are called iced cakes is because the, the, the raspberryness is only in this layer here on the very surface. And it's, it's got a coconut, chopped coconut on it. And it doesn't have the icing on the bottom, interestingly. So I'll be tasting this off camera. And I have to say, Hostess, the cake tastes like white cake. And the outer icing is very sweet, but it's got the tang of raspberry and it's got the the, the 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 bite what do you call that it's got the you can nibble on those little pieces of coconut which is enjoyable but this creme is is not good it's uh slimy in the mouth it doesn't taste mm, no and it doesn't it doesn't have a taste to it it's just kind of a a, a, a a texture that you have to get out of your mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's my review of Hostess Zingers. I'm gonna put that aside. Yuck. And to cleanse my palate, I've, I've purchased some uh, ribonadas, which if you can't tell, it's, uh, it's sweet toast, pan dulce tostado. And uh, I guess this little uh, polar bear is, is a chef, or uh, what, is, what is it called when the person makes pastries? Well, I don't know if this is called a... Is it a pastry? It does have cream filling in the middle. So, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and try these. Rebenada. Rebenada. Reb, Reben, Uh-oh, I can't say it. To get the nasty hostess out of the out of the mouth so as you can see this is just two pieces of toast separated by a <laughs> creme I don't know if you heard that but it's very dry toast and this creme, it, it has a taste. It almost tastes like bananas. So I wonder... All right, I'm going to break in on this narrative because I went off on a whimsical tangent about the relationship between <laughs> this word, rebanadas, and the word bananas. Uh, rebanadas just means slices. So these are slices of toast. Okay, back to the narrative. So uh, maybe there's lots of them. Maybe there's a whole room of... Polar bears answering, answering messages. 
So ugh, that certainly cleansed my palate. But now we're on to Dreamies. My favorite. The only place I can find Dreamies is in the, uh, it's in the, the snack machine at my works. Uh, break room. So as you can see, it's kind of malformed. It's kind of out of shape. The, the, the coconut is not as apparent. It's, it's highly, highly chopped up, but it has the same idea. The inside is white cake. The outside is iced with a, it's probably coconut with a raspberry taste and uh, sugar icing. That goes all the way around, but this this does. Uh, as I, this one's kind of malformed, but the other one, you can see, it's the same way with the, as the Hostess. Like they don't they don't ice the bottom. This is where they they inject the creme. So I'll try to. Mm-hmm. I have to say. The white cake tastes better. The cream is the textures light and fluffy. It disappears in the mouth, whereas the other one kind of lingered. And it tastes it has a it has a dairy taste to it. So, uh, and also this this uh, icing is it's it's very tart and raspberry y. Obviously, you're not going to get that color of raspberry when you bake it and I'll tell you why in a few seconds but I mean when you bake it when you when you when you cook down raspberry it doesn't turn this color it turns kind of brown so they've made it look like a raspberry so that you'd know that you're eating a raspberry but that's not the color of a raspberry that's uh, coloring so that's my only that's my only criticism Mrs. Mrs. Freshly's is the winner unless this mystery cake here has something to say to us. What does it say? It says, it says homemade to me. Yes, it does. And you know how I know? Because I made it. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't get very much. Uh, that, that little hole I didn't get very much in. But there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is real cream. This is real cake. And this is an icing I attempted to replicate. And let me taste it. Let me taste it just for you. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the winner. My cake's best. I'll show you how I made it.
I just wanted to make a comment about the process here. Now you've seen that I've cooked down the raspberries and I've added them with sour cream to the batter and that's supposed to make a nice uh, moist and raspberry flavored cake around which I would add the remaining raspberry icing with some shredded coconut. And that would that was my plan to replicate the the dreamies. But I noticed that when I took those little cakes out of the oven, they were just they didn't look raspberry enough. So I decided to uh, make another batch and make them bright red and make them look like a dreamy. So I used some raspberry flavored jello. And that is what you will see here. Just a quick little montage of making that better. And I also want to experiment with the shredded coconut because that to me is the key ingredient, the combination of raspberry and coconut. So I used uh, the full shredded coconut coming right out of the bag and put it on top and toasted it a little bit. And I also uh, chopped it up and put it in the wet batter to see if that made any difference. In the end, I'll just tell you, it didn't. It, it tastes great either way. But to reiterate, I'd say that to make the definitive dreamy, you need <laughs> shredded coconut, raspberry flavored icing, and, and some light fluffy whipped cream in the middle. Now, I did do some light fluffy whipped cream myself. I, made, I whipped it myself, and I didn't have one of those fancy squeezy bags, so I took that whipped cream and I put it into a Ziploc bag and snipped the end and squeezed it into the holes that I made with the, the back side of a wooden spoon. So I wanted to show that aspect too, in case one of you wants to make one of these delicious little cakes and doesn't have a little squeeze bag. You can just use a Ziploc bag, just like me. Well, I don't know if you saw or could tell, but uh, I made two different versions. One, which is the white cake version that I'm gonna ice, but I still put the raspberry, uh, well, I'm gonna call it compote, down there in into the batter, and then I iced it. But this is the, the, the white cake version, and I did actually get uh, whipped cream inside this one. And this one is exactly the same recipe, but instead of sour cream, and uh, cooked down raspberries, I used gelatin, raspberry gelatin. And uh, and this tastes just as good. I'm not gonna eat this one because I'm gonna save it for later. So, there you go.